Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 33, Trace Bitmap. To trace a bitmap, you'll first need to import one into Inkscape. You have a couple different ways to do that. You can go up to File and Import. You can simply copy and paste by right clicking, copying an image and pasting it in. Or you can drag it over out of a file. When you drag an image in or import it, it's going to ask you if you want to embed or link. That is the most important um, decision you're going to have to make. More than likely you want to embed that image because what's going to happen is it's going to store that image in this Inkscape file. If the original source image is destroyed or moved, it will not affect the image in the Inkscape. However, if you link it and the source image is moved or destroyed, you'll have to go relink that file. The benefit of linking an image as opposed to embedding is it keeps the file size for the Inkscape file lower. So we'll embed today. and we'll embed this one as well. Um, I've chosen two separate images that I've created. One is lots of colors, it's very detailed. The other one is very simplistic and it's only white and black. To trace a bitmap you'll need to go up to path and trace bitmap. Shift Alt B is the quick command for that. And it'll bring up this dialog box. Each one of these radio buttons are different ways that Inkscape is going to trace out this image. The reason I've chosen these two images because different settings work better or worse for the different type of image. So let's try the first one, the brightness cutoff. Also you might want to keep live preview checked and there will be a live preview here. If I click on this and brightness cutoff this is basically the image that it's going to create. The threshold can be adjusted to vary what the image is going to capture. So if we create this, clicking OK, then we go down here and we click OK. Notice how this image is very nicely traced and this one, while there's a lot going on, doesn't really represent what went on in this image very well. Edge detection Notice how it's not getting any of the information on the inside of this, it's just going along the edge. This is one where it's really important, especially if you're trying to do this with a complex image, to adjust the threshold. Go ahead and delete those. color quantization. Now the important thing here especially with very um, dynamic images with lots of color you want to raise this color up. Don't leave it low. What it's doing is basically telling Inkscape hey I'm going to recreate this image but I'm going to g gather as many color by you gathering as many colors as possible from this one. If we set it to two, it's going to break everything down into what looks closest to white, what looks closest to black, trace those out. The higher we raise this, the more little variations that Inkscape will factor in to its process. Invert image is make it makes the image the opposite. So if you were looking to, okay, I really like the way this is looking, but I want the bush to be more of the white as opposed to dark, you can select this and that's what it'll change. Brightness steps. So this isn't taking the color. This is taking the light and dark values of the image and changing them out or tracing those. Okay. 
and Josie. Colors. So now we're getting into the two that more than likely you would want to use, especially if you're importing a picture of yourself or your friends or your dog, and you want to trace them out into a vector format. The colors will do exactly what it's saying. It will trace out the colors of this image. and the grays will make it gray. Let's delete those. The check marks on the bottom are for smoothing. It's going to try to smooth the object as best it can. If there's rough edges, it'll smooth it around. Stack scans. Stack scans is kind of an advanced thing and if you're doing something simple or it just has one or two colors you want to uncheck stack scans um, it it makes many layers of color that a lot of time isn't needed if you're going to adjust that image however if you're not getting the correct um, trace that you want turn it back on because it does come out with better colors and better tracing it just is really a pain to edit later and remove background so if your image has a background on it, it'll try to get rid of that. Option, suppress speckle, smooth corners, and optimize path. Suppressing speckles is removing all the little dots. Smoothing corners is just what it says. It's going to try to round everything out, smooth everything. And optimizing the paths is going to cut down on extra paths and different little pieces that that maybe you know so if you're making paths with nodes it might only take you know 200 nodes to make this it might take like 2000 to make this you can optimize those paths to cut down on those numbers and the credit tab is just for um, the person who created this little add-on and that does it for trace bitmap please join us for Inkscape tutorial 34 tiled clones thanks for watching